Telling y'all, bro, you better be careful who you tell your goals and dreams and aspirations to. And you better be careful what content creator you are looking at and watching because you will get whatever spirit they inhabit, it will come into you. Whatever spirit they inhabit will come into you. It is a spiritual transfer. I don't care if it's on a phone, bro. I picked up a phone and had some demonic ass person on the end of, other end of the line. All I needed to do was know who I was speaking to. Like when you watch a content creator, you've seen a good amount of their content, right? Or even you hear their discord, you hear them speak for like 30 seconds, no, a minute, 20 minutes, you get this feeling, you see the personality. You can get energy transfers out of a screen. I'm telling you, bro. You can tell it's a real one right here or it's a fake one or I could tell this is a whoremonger or a, you know what I'm saying? This guy's on this type of time. I mean, I he's thinking this type of way. Like, it's not a joke, bro. Like, our ears, right? You see that? That right there. What's that? That's the baby in the womb. That's the an imprint of the body of the baby. The head right there. Just look it up. What we put into our ears... Goes into our subconscious mind, but let's say just let's not talk scientifically. Goes into our spirit. How do you feel right now? You watch uh, some content. It was nothing. It was nothing like bad. You were watching no corn. You were watching nothing. It was just a person, maybe reacting to a video, a police video. But you feel a certain type of way. Your spirit went from like I'm reading the Bible. And now I'm watching this dude. He's smoking weed. Uh, he got, you know, his person persona. It's, he's cool. Yeah, whatever. But how do you feel? You feel different. You don't feel this spiritual voltage that you maybe had felt before. This spiritual uplifting. This shit, bro, you will get their demons, everything. Any content you, you listen to, you watch. And the content creator, you will get... The demons they're battling with, you will get all the things that they got in their spirit will get transferred to yours. I promise you that. I mean, that's where they say, like, don't watch these types of movies, don't watch those types of movies. Because they affect you. It's like you're looking at the brain doesn't know how to interpret something when it's watching, like a movie, as real or fake. Now, there's movies that I've watched that could be violent. I mean, it really does... That really doesn't affect me. I mean, like what I watch. I mean, maybe to a certain degree sometimes. But I'm just saying like content creators watching their content, you're into their, that's their personality. Like you're dealing with their demons or shit. That's why when you listen to somebody speaking spiritual stuff and they're just speaking biblical stuff, that's what they're speaking. That's what they got inside them. They got the Holy Spirit. You're not going to feel anything but good in that type of environment, right? With that type of content. Now you got a content creator, might be talking about the Holy Spirit, but there might be other things. Talking about his stories of his past and not not in, not in like a, a reflective, like to build on type of way. Like you are getting to know this person's personality. You, you can feel the energy, bro. Like... You can feel if someone's actually working for the kingdom of darkness or for the kingdom of heaven. Any pastor, any preacher that's online, any content creator that is making content like this, talking about God, the Most High, God of Israel, all that, you will really feel conviction in your spirit. If you feel in your spirit like this, like, oh, I don't trust this person. I don't know why I feel like that, but I just don't feel it. And it just continues, bro. You will realize that you were right. It was true. What you were feeling inside was true. Some things could be some entertainment. It's cool to laugh. No joke. Of course. But I'm talking about content creators where you're tuning into their content continuously. My content is wisdom, philosophy, which is biblical things to build on, to help people. Like, I'm not the type of guy that's going to talk about Kanye West. I don't care what he said about the children of Israel. I don't care what he said about Christ. 
I'm not going to get the meat and spit out the bones. No. I ain't messing with a person who's serving a demonic. In my, the way I get convicted is serving a demonic kingdom. That's it. Like, Cal Williams might speak some real shit, right? But I'm not, I don't feel right. To be able to watch this person's content continuously as a as a media personality, whatever. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to go to nature. I'm going to go on here. I'm going to speak what I got to speak. I'm going to fight with my flesh. I'm going to fast and say happy Sabbath because happy Sabbath. I'm going to do my best like we all should be doing every single day. Fighting, battling the flesh because, you know. That when the flesh battles the spirit, one can win, one can lose. So, you need to get your spiritual strength up there in the high numbers, times a million. So then your flesh can't do nothing. If you turn away from a sin, like masturbation, you turn away from it. Yeah, we all fall short, but we don't go back to our vomit. That's it. You get, you ask the Lord for spiritual voltage, for spiritual the armor of Christ, the Most High's armor, every day, you fast, you pray, you read, you succeed, you take action. You read the Bible all you want. Faith without works is dead, my friend. That's those people who go to church and listen to a few uh, scriptures, same ones every Sunday, just mostly singing ah, hymns and stuff and leave and go back into the world. You gotta, when you are walking this narrow path, it's very narrow and there's roadblocks everywhere. Go up to a, a trail. You know what I'm saying? You'll find some roadblocks. You'll find some stumbles. You'll find some hills. You'll find some things that, oh, you might trip. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, that's how it is. So I'm just saying, we need to watch what we put into our ears, what we put into this, but this, the third eye. That's, this is the real eye, the spiritual eye. That gets affected too. That gets affected. With what you listen to, what you hear, that's why secular music is out, out of the window. I mean, if you are to listen to secular music, to mainstream rap, let's just call it that, they don't allow you to, they don't allow it to be uploaded in 444. If it's not in four, is it 444 hertz? I thought it was like, I 444 is like a, one of those demonic numbers, but, I think it's 454 hertz. Whatever it is, it's not 432 hertz. Music needs to be uploaded at 432 hertz. And second of all, anybody trying to tell you what to do and do this and do that and got Bro, you never, you don't need nobody to tell you shit. You a grown ass man. Someone told me, hey man, if I hadn't seen your video, I would have killed myself. I was about to hang myself. I watched your video. You helped me. I did not do that. That is God's work. You go into a nine to five and you don't have any kids. You don't got, it's like, you're not even, you, you're, it's like, bruh, there's not, no reason that you shouldn't take a risk right now in life. If you don't got no kids and you got nothing to lose and everything to gain, and you're in my situation, you take, you take the leaps of faith because you know that you got a gift. That's the thing. Some people don't know what the fuck they got. They haven't really tried anything. They didn't go at eight years old and make their first rap or Say at eight years old that this country is a, is a freaking this and that and it's sends them the real shit. Like I did at eight years old, seven years old. I was like, bro, this is just a dictatorship in a third world country just dressed up. That's what I said at seven years old. Man, I'd rather do the Lord's work where I make a, a video or I touch somebody in a certain way, even in person, I talk to them, whatever, and they say I was about to kill myself. But your video came through, or you came through, and I didn't do that. Do you know who gets blessed the most? The person that gives the most. They, they have $10 left, they give that $10. That is it. They needed what they needed, but forget about it. Because sometimes that $10 was going to pay for what? You still might have some strongholds holding you back. Cigarettes and a 211. I'm talking about broke days. That <laughs> Yeah. Cigarettes and a two, you know what a 211 is, right? Or a Mickey's. You know what I'm saying? A tall can of some strong malt liquor, beer. Just give it away, bro. Give it away and let your let those demons these leave you one thing at a time. You gave up the porn, corn, 
You know what I mean? What happened with this stupid... Oh, freedom of speech, corn. We can't talk about the letter coalition. We got to call it the letter coalition. You know the ones that took half of the al alphabet, kept it as theirs? You know the ones that took the rainbow? That was the promise of the Lord that you'll never flood the earth again. But through destruction, destroy the earth through a flood. That's why we have a rainbow. When you get your little water hose and you throw it up in the air, you know what I mean? And you see that rainbow, that's not science, bro. Yeah, it is. It's a natural whatever science. But no, for, I don't label it. That's God. He created that. You can scientifically break it down with the this and that. And this color means this UV and this ray and this that. I don't give a F. Without the most high, that is his promise. And y'all take our rainbow. Man, get the... And you use it for that? Y'all real funny, huh? Y'all got some jokes, huh? Y'all think you can take our rainbow and be a rainbow? No, bro. We want you to turn away from your sins, which you hopefully do. And that's, we need our rainbow back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need our rainbow back. Straight up. Everybody in this shit, put rainbows all on this. Because y'all know what the rainbow is. It's the most high promise that you will not destroy us with, by, will, dis, will destroy us, destroy the earth through a flood. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's about. When you see a rainbow, no, it's strength. I don't know, you know? Straight up. Yeah, this video is what it was, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, watch what you listen to, watch who you listen to, watch who you watch, and watch, just watch. You know what I'm saying? Just watch out. The movies you see, I mean, we, we're supposed to stay busy, bro. I mean, I understand. We had a good day or, a t a, you know, a hard day or a type of day. And we want to just chill and watch a nice movie. That's gr that's fine. I'm just saying, watch who you're tuning into consistently. Watch what rapper you you can listen to a couple secular songs, a couple mainstream rap songs. Little baby, the baby, everybody's a baby. I don't know. Little this, little that, little ah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. Little Wayne, no, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I I don't. I got nothing to say about Wayne. You know, but they all serve a demonic kingdom. It is what it is. I'm just saying, you know, you might listen to Lil Baby, Lil Yachty, Lil This, Lil Bugatti, Lil Shotty, Lil Hater, Lil Bitch Ass, whatever you want to listen to. <laughs> okay, just, you listen to a song one or, once or twice, that's fine. We're only one doing anything, but when you're consistently tuning in to these things, consistently, you're going back to something, a certain type of energy and environment that is being cultivated inside of you spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Just like going back to the porn sites all day, every day, you know, destroying yourself, turning into a feminine man, destroying your seed, ejaculating all the damn time to a fucking, excuse my language, to a screen, a video of another phallus, having sex with something that you're not having sex. I mean, it's just, it's weird, bro. It's weird. It's it's it's, it's bisexual. It's it's all t you know what that'll lead you to that porn shit. That'll lead you to some sick shit. You turn into a pedophile sooner or later. Yeah, you get so sick mentally that you'll start wanting to see like younger girls and thirteen year olds and twelve year olds and you know with sexy looks. That's it's just disgusting what I've heard and. And witness, oh my God, not with my own eyes in person, but just what I've heard online testimonies. It's disgusting. Go from watching porn to watching more porn to wanting to be doing some violent shit, like wanting to have sex in certain areas. It's just crazy how demented the brain gets and sick. And you turn into a bitch in the end. Any pedo... Because that even might be a thing where the, the, the devil, there was this freaking interview of the, of the Lucifer. And it was, I, I, I applaud the video of the, of, you know, the, how it was, it was made the way it was supposed to. Like, if Lucifer was really there, like, yeah, those are the answers you would have been given. It's the video with um, the, the melanated man interviewing a melanated man. Lucifer is melanated too, you know. Yeah, the devil's black whatever you want to call it, it's a Crayola coat. But 
he, they portrayed him as that, and that's that's what it is. Listen, the the, the children of Israel are melanated. The Most High God is melanated. I mean, Jesus Christ. The angels are melanated, or whatever. We came after them. They were the first. That's why I said they come from the blood of Christ. The real J E W I S H. Yahweh's people, they were they were melanated. Not this shit going on over here with the little, you know, twist in the hair and all that, and they're white. And, no, no, uh, Those are, you know, no, no. They're Gentiles. They came from a certain part of Europe. Anyways, let's not get canceled like Kanye. <laughs> but uh, stop following these people, bro. You don't know who they're serving. You know who I'm serving. Yeah, I mean, who else am I serving? I'm serving Christ. What am I? What are you? You know, this one video was like a really special video saying about like a lot of people, you ask them who they are and they say, well, I work for a special executive company. No, who are you? I'm a warrior for the most high God, Christ. I'm a soldier. I'm a, I'm a student of Christ and a teacher. That's who I am. Watch what you watch. Watch what you listen to. Watch the company you keep. Watch. Pay attention. Spiritually. Because this is flesh. But what really is going on all around when you walk out that door is demons are everywhere. Angels. There's a whole spiritual battle going on when you walk out that door out your house. In your house. Next to your spouse. So let's let's tread lightly. Be careful. What we feed our souls. Our spirits. You know if I get bothered by being. In a certain environment. Just because it got demonic ass spirits all around. Attacking mine. My spirit. Without saying anything. They don't say nothing. I'm out of there. Peace. I'm not going to waste even a tiny bit of my energy to be taken from, bro, my life is too, no, life is way too precious and short. I got way too big of a calling and a purpose in this life. So do y'all. So we're not going to waste our time. So I just wanted to come with this random message, however you want to take it. I'm sure it'll help somebody. I hope it does. Um, I do this for the kingdom of God. I don't do this for anything else. But please, comment, like, subscribe. Even if it's a negative comment, anything is good for me. Comment, please. Like and subscribe if you support this, all right? If you don't, it is what it is. I love y'all. Spiritual Socrates signing out. All praises to the Most High God. I would be nothing without Him. I'm just dirt without Christ. Peace.